Hi there, so this is the back end training for Alliance Medical Supply. Uh, what you're seeing here is actually your WordPress dashboard. You will each have your own unique login to access your WordPress dashboard. This is where you can go in and customize your site, edit pages, edit blogs, view your site, manage widgets, and a lot more. One thing I highly recommend you do is connect your Jetpack. Now with this on your dashboard, all you have to do is click this and it will walk you through most of the settings that you will need in order to connect your jetpack and a lot of different options on there. Now, of course, you can hire us to do this for you. This is an additional fee, but it is something that we highly recommend. Another thing that you will see here is your Yoast SEO post overview. This is actually for your search engine optimization. Um, it's got a lot of really different uh, and good suggestions in here. We've set up the basics for you. If you want to go more in depth, that's something we can do for you or something you can do for yourself. We've empowered you to do it yourself and we give you a lot of resources that you can utilize as well. You'll see here your quick draft. If you want to post a quick blog, you can do that here on your quick draft. WordPress news that just basically gives you some basic WordPress news that's out there. And then activity, anything that's recently happened on your site, as well as recent comments. Next thing you're going to see down the line will be your Jetpack and Ask Commit. Jetpack settings requires that you set up an account with WordPress.com. That's not something we're contracted to do. So that is something you would have to do for yourself or hire us separately to do. And this allows you to add a lot of initial uh, extra functionality to your site. Ask Commit is also something we're not contracted to do, but this is just something we put in front of you so that you know that it's there and you have that option. Ask Commit filters out all of the spam comments that will come into your blog so that you don't have to focus on those and you can only focus on good relevant comments but you do have to set that up with an API or you can hire us to do that as well. Posts. This is where you would set up your blog posts. So if you were going to blog about something, this is where you would do that. We left you several different examples here to where you can go in and actually see how those are set up and exactly the format they were set up in so that you can choose whether or not you want to do things similar to that or not. If you would like us to remove that, we're happy to do that. It's not a problem. We just want to make sure that you have all the functionality possible to really grow your business. Media. Your media file is where all of your videos and or photos are uploaded. So all of the photos that we uploaded to your site, all of the information we have on your site that is relevant to you is in this particular library. And this is where you can go in, add new, Optimize, which we highly recommend because photos can take up a lot of space on your website and really kill your bandwidth. And then uh, actually really help you just manage your media files better. When you click on the pages option, this will take you to all of the pages that are on your site. So as you can see right now, you have seven active pages. Uh, two more than we were actually contracted to do, but we definitely felt like you needed that so we made sure that that happened. This is also where you would go to edit each page. Comments. This is where you will see every comment on your blog. We left some uh, basic things here so that you could see what it would look like. We're happy to remove these if you don't want them there. We just wanted to see what you would think when it uh, looked a certain way. Going back to pages for just a moment. If you want to edit a, spe a specific page, there are two ways that you can do that. We've given you the straight up editor where a lot of what we have done has been done with WordPress short codes and things that requires a little bit of programming knowledge. But we've also given you the option to edit with Virtual Composer, which is a piece of software that we installed for you. It's a $75 value. Uh, that you can actually drag and drop different things into your page so you can edit it yourself and change up things and, and move things around as you see fit. So if we were to look at your about page as it is right now, 
just as an example. What you will see here are different short codes, the way that we have it formatted on your page so that it works. We do offer training so that you can fix these short codes yourself, but this is how we got your pages formatted to look appropriate and the way that they should. Services is another specific piece of software that we added for you so that you have all of the services that you need listed on your site, very similar to pages. With the services box, all you have to do is go in and edit exactly what you want. Now, again, with the services boxes, many of the programming sections that we provided for you are done in short codes. One thing I do want to draw your attention to with the short codes is a very simple fix that you can do on your own, or you can hire us to do for you or take our training on how to learn it better. So as we did here, we have the one half accordions. All of these things are just different, tiny little programming snippets that allow us to format your page in a very professional way. If you want to learn more about short codes, simply click on this insert insert short codes icon and what this does is tell you exactly which short codes would be on there and how to insert them so that's one way you can do it but of course we're happy to continue to monitor this for you clients if you were to work with some large clients or just as an example here, we put Medicaid as an insurance provider in here. You can use clients in a variety of different ways. You can use them as insurance providers. You can use them as different clients you've worked with, different clients that you have a relationship with for their products. However you want to work with it is fine. I just wanted to give you something here to see what that would look like. Next thing I want to go over is testimonials. We took the two testimonials that you gave us and actually inserted those into your page. If you want to add more, you absolutely can. And all we did when we put in a testimonial was put the name in up at the title section, the actual testimonial, and then their role as opposed to client name. That's how it formats better, just so you know that. If you want to add a new one, it's very simple. All you have to do is go up here and click add new and format the same way. Name here, testimonial in the middle, and then their role at the end. We built your website for growth. I know you didn't want to specifically use team members right now, but I did put some things in here so that you could see what that would look like if you did. So you have ventilator and respiratory therapy people, and you can actually put individual bios of your team members in there or just a general overview. And there's different short codes that you can add to the pages that will allow you to fix that up as time progresses. Portfolio. What I would recommend this specific section of your site for one thing that we played a little bit with was your services in here. But what I think this is more appropriate for, actually what I know this is more appropriate for, would be for case studies, people who have had a lot of success using your products or, or different things like that that you can put in at a later date. I just wanted to put these in there for you so that you could see what they would look like. Feel free to click through on each one and just play with it a little bit. Maps, I'm not going to go into a lot because that's more specific to Google Maps, which is actually a very different plugin that we utilize, which is going to be helpful for you. One thing we could do was install something called Contact Form 7. There's two things in here that are relevant. One is simply your contact form, which when we transfer everything over to your host will be emailed directly to you. We tested each one of these. Uh, to make sure that they're going to the correct place and operating the right way. Um, 
so we have all of these things that are relevant. The only thing we needed to fix was this on the monthly ordering form to end the label. Now, the reason that I show you this is if you want to build your own contact form, it's quite simple to do. You can simply click on these things up here. You just need to make sure that the tags are open in this way and also closed in a certain way so that you're not getting actual errors when you're putting in forms for configuration. You can integrate your forms, which I highly recommend, with different uh, services. I recommend personally MailChimp until you have 2,000 subscribers because it's free, but that is an option for you as well. Now, if you ever want to change your WordPress theme, you simply do that in Appearance and Themes. You would either upload a new theme or choose a new theme. I will say sometimes when you do that, your short codes will not work appropriately, so I, I would be cognizant of that before you do that live. Widgets, these are different things that we have programmed into your site and that have been programmed to your site by your theme. Now, if you added a sidebar, we gave you some things to look at, either to the left or to the right. These are how you fix your footer sidebar. And let me just show you what that is. Your footer sidebar is this. So all of these are your footer. This is footer one, this is footer two, footer three, and footer four. So if you want to change any of those, you can do that here in the widgets menu. In the menu section, what you will find is exactly how we program the menu. You can add things, subtract things, take things away, or modify things as you see fit based on pages, posts, your services that you offer, custom links, categories, or groups. So for example, if you wanted to add things on the services menu, which you don't see here. We could add online payments, supplies, and then add those to the menu. Now, those would actually get added to the main menu unless you change the options. So all you have to do is drag and drop those sections to there, save the menu, and then you have additional options as well as the full spectrum of what you're offering. Theme help. If you have questions about the theme at all, you can do all of this here. We imported all of the demo content so that it looked very nice. Where you can change your logo. All of this is a lot of FAQ as well as support and contact information for you. If you have problems with the themes and you're not opting to use us as your go-between. If you want to change any of the colors, menu items, or anything of that nature within here, and there's a few things I do want to draw your attention to that you are going to have to do unless you want to hire us to do it, would be adding in your Google Analytics code, your webmaster code, as well as any other JavaScript content that you might want. Webmaster code and Google Analytics code are very vital to your SEO and where you rank on Google. So that's very, very, very relevant. But with this, this really just takes you through the entire spectrum of how your theme works by clicking on general body, overhead, header, navigation, anything like that. We have gone in and programmed every single bit of this by hand so that it works well for you, but if there's anything you'd like to change, please let me know. Your all slider is the header slider on your homepage. You might recognize some of these images. We went in and programmed each one of these to create a specific function. So that's how you do that. If you want to change the font site wide on your site, you can upload a different font. You can change client settings and how those are displayed on your site, as well as testimonial settings, 
by clicking this option, your team settings, your portfolio settings, And then what this does is give you an option to customize the code in several portions of your site. This is just a different variation of how it's presented in the theme options of what I already showed you. The editor allows you to actually customize the code in and of itself. This is a lot of what we do and what we have done. Unless you know what you're doing, it's really, really, really challenging for me to be able to say that it's okay to just go in and, and change that because it can really do a number on your site. Plugins. There are several different plugins that I added to your site. Ask Commit, Auto Terms of Service, and Privacy Policy, which I think needs to go in your footer. Um, that's something we didn't actually discuss. I can add that in there, not a problem. I just need your okay to do that. Auto-optimize the site is something new. Contact form, the image optimizer, which keeps your images smaller so that you're not having a lot of um, downtime as far as loading images is a good one. Huge IT Google Map is another one we added. Jetpack, our services showcase pro is another one we added. Uh, print friendly and PDF is another one we added. Uh, Sidekick Pro is one I'm going to activate right now that we added as well. WP Super Cache, that actually keeps your site speed uh, up. It's, it's actually not enough in this day and age to, un unfortunately, it's not enough in this day and age to just build a site and uh, think it's going to work okay you actually have to work at it on a regular basis so i've given you as many things as i can to optimize it you you really do need to revisit getting that optimized every month um in my professional opinion just because it will start to get bogged down i gave you wp bakery virtual composer uh, there's approximately $200 worth of free plug plugins that we did and configured, so there's some extras in here for you, and then Yoast SEO as well for your search engine optimization. So there's a lot in here. Now, the reason I draw your attention here is you see here there's new versions, so oftentimes plugins or themes will require new versions. You do have to log in and actually update these. Um, we'll give you all of the data to update the ones that we paid for that are not working right now, but you can't just set these and forget these. You've got to actually go in every month or every two weeks and make sure that all of these are up to date, that your comments are up to date, that everything else is working because sometimes something will update and it will break something else. So you've got to be very, very, very vigilant on that. Users. These will be people who are registering for your site. Right now we only have two, administrator and subscriber. I will be adding uh, the two of you as admins so that you can see this, but this is where you will go when you get new subscribers to your site. Your tools section is essentially just allowing people to do WordPress on this. Your visual composer, which is something I touched on a moment ago, which is your visual editor. Well, this allows you to decide who gets to use that on a page or a post. So for example, if you were to create a new page or want to create a new page with visual composer, all you have to do is click add new And then choose the back end editor or front end editor for Visual Composer, which allows you to drag and drop different elements into a page, making it a lot easier to program. Settings. 
The settings are already set up for you. You can go in and click on these and just check and see where they're at. Um, this is your auto terms of service and privacy policy, which essentially is just a short code that we have to insert into a page and then put somewhere else. Auto optimize settings for your photos. Print friendly and PDF. Again, something I already installed. Your side kick, your WP Super Cache, and your image optimizer are all here. Your SEO, which is Yoast, we've already configured for you. However, there's a few things you will have to do. We left your Yoast open. We had no problems, as you can see, with your setup. We enabled all your features. We put in your stuff. What you will have to do, however, unless you want to contract us for it, is install Bing, Google, Google Search Console, and Yandex Webmaster Tools because they're not there. And those will help you dissect your traffic, create remarketing campaigns, and further work on the rest of your audience. The other thing you're missing is I could not, for the life of me, find a social presence, so I didn't want to infringe. If you have URLs for these things, this is where they would go. And this is where you can actually program things in to post to your Facebook account, Twitter, Pinterest, and Google+. Plus. Your sitemaps. The sitemaps need to go to Google. And honestly, your site needs to be submitted to search engines every 30 days. So the way you do this is you're going to have to register through Google Webmaster Tools, then click on your XML sitemap and submit this URL. If you don't do that, your site will not be indexed on Google. So it's very, 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 very important you do that. If you have questions on how to do that or if you'd like to contract us to do it, we can do it for you. Uh, we've already done all of your settings, posts, and taxonomies. We've already set up all of your advanced settings as well. So you have everything ready to go. And then the very last thing we have to really show you would be your Google Maps. We set up your Google Maps. If you want to know more in depth than what we have set up, which I honestly do not believe that you need to do, you would actually have to purchase the full version of this app. But I think what you have right now works just fine. The very, very last thing I want to show you is when you're trying to administer WordPress or make changes or do anything like that, it can get confusing. So I installed something that allows you to get all of the WordPress basics, users, website settings, post pages, visual editor, menu comments, themes, everything at the touch of a button. So it's really on-demand help. So if you don't want to contract us to fix these things every month, or if you just need a little bit of help as opposed to a lot of help, I think this is a really good way to go. So I hope that that answers your questions on the back end of your site. Uh, there's a couple things we're still pending, but I am looking forward to a launch. Have a great rest of your day.